Hello and welcome to Hacking in Action, Exploitation and Post-Exploitation course. Now, I promised to get your hands dirty and I don't want to bore you with too much theory, so let's compromise some systems. Do you remember in the beginning of the course we performed a vulnerability scanning? And you'll certainly remember that there was an exploitable vulnerability in the Java RMI service of the Metasploitable system. So let's exploit the Metasploitable. Here we are in the MSF console, so you can use the search command to find the exploits for Java RMI server insecure default config vulnerability. Here we find two auxiliaries and two exploits. To use the exploit, we use the use command of MSF console. Give the full name of the exploit you see. And you see the command prompt shows us which exploit or auxiliary that we are using. Now we can select a payload, type show payloads to see the payloads available with this exploit. You're going to see different payload lists for different exploits, but we have to choose one of these payloads. To use the payload we want, we use the set payload metasploit command. So here I want to use the java slash shell slash reverse TCP payload for this example. Type show options to see the parameters we have to configure. Now these are the parameters of the module and these are the parameters of the selected payload. Required field shows if you have to fill in the parameter or not. If the option is required, it cannot be empty. So let's set the options for this exploit. And here you can use either run or the exploit command to run the exploit. Okay, so in our last lecture, we had a interpreter session on Metasploitable Linux machine. Let's continue to see the basic interpreter commands on that session. So a good habit to get into is looking at the sysinfo, which is the first command that I run when I interact with a interpreter session just so I can see which system I am in. Never hurts to double check. Okay, I'm on Metasploit. Help is the second command I'd like to show. And not surprisingly, it shows the available commands in this Metaterpreter session. The commands are grouped, and we'll talk about it more in the following lectures. But the command names are at the left-hand side, and the descriptions of the commands are on the right-hand side. And here's another command group. Anyway, so first of all, let's see how we can manage interpreter sessions. If you're in a interpreter session, you can go back to MSF console with the background command. And now we're on MSF shell. Sessions L is to list the active sessions. Now the sessions may or may not be interpreter sessions, but you'll see the session type in the third column of the sessions list. In fact, the sessions command with no parameter lists the sessions as well, so you don't need to use the L parameter. The first column of the list shows the ID numbers of the sessions. The information column shows the user and the system connected, and the connection column shows the attacker and the victim system's IP addresses and the connected ports. Use the sessions command with the I parameter to interact with any of these sessions. Simply give the ID number of the session you want to interact with. And we're in the Metaterpreter session of the Metasploitable Linux again. We can use the ls command to see the files in this folder. The next command is get UID. It's used to show which user you are on that system. We are the root user, which is very good for us, but not for the victim. So hash dump is a very useful command for ethical hackers. As you might guess, it lists the hashes of the user of this system. But remember, you can access the hash files if you have the root or the admin privileges. Otherwise, the interpreter cannot gather the hashes. But don't worry, there are a few tricks up our sleeves to escalate the privilege. Well now, it seems the interpreter does not have the hash dump command for Linux systems. But again, no worries, because we can use a post module to gather hashes. We'll see that in detail in the post-exploitation lecture. So, 
Just to show you that we have alternatives, let's run this post exploitation module. Run post slash wind, no, not Windows, it's a Linux system, slash gather slash hash dump, and hit enter. Remember, Metasploit Framework and Meterpreter have code completion, so you can just use the tab key to complete the words. And here are the usernames and the password hashes. Now, I don't know if I need to stress to you that this is very important data. So we'll use these hashes for some of our purposes a little bit later. 